Former President Donald Trump traveled to Ohio to campaign for Bernie Marino, who is running for U.S. Senate. And while the Ohio primary election is Tuesday, the former president is also making his pitch once again for the White House. WCPO 9 News reporter Sean Delancey shows you what happened during Saturday's rally. Former President Donald Trump's speech in Dayton was a little bit more off script than most if you've seen a few of them. High winds caused prompter issues, but still thousands watched in person with hopes of voting for the man both in the primaries and in November. America first champion Bernie Marino. In a speech designed to boost Senate hopeful Bernie Marino, the crowd was largely there to hear from former President Donald Trump and were unbothered by the multiple state and federal criminal indictments Trump called politically charged. And he's driven my numbers through the roof. Do it one or two more times. Let's, how about a couple of more indictments, Joe, you dumb son of a... Many in and around Dayton wanted to hear about two things. Army, border crisis, sports still here. They, he saved the country before. On the economy. Chicken's up, bread is up, and I can't read this damn teleprompter. A stiff breeze gave Trump fits. Largely ad-libbing, Trump claimed a desire to eliminate Bidenomics and install Maganomics without explaining what that means. On the border, we begin the largest domestic deportation operation in American history. You see political science professor David Niven watch the speech. This was a pretty typical Trump performance. Niven says even with Moreno falling into Trump's shade for the evening, it likely helped his chances in the primary. He has one task between now and the time the polls close primary night, and that is to associate himself with Trump, make sure every Ohio Republican knows you know, that he has Trump support. As for the person to actually challenge Senator Sherrod Brown for his seat, well, that will be decided in Tuesday's primary. Sean Delancey, WCPO 9 News.